Hi there, this is Nellie Deutsch, and today I'm going to show you a few amazing features on Padlet. You need to use Chrome. You can't use Safari on your Mac because it doesn't offer all the features. If you try, it'll tell you exactly what you can and what you can't do. So this is Chrome, and notice uh, what my options are. I'm here. I just added a plus. Let me get rid of it. You add a plus. I've created this. If you're interested in knowing how to create it, I'll let you know. But notice all the pluses. I'm using this on my desktop. There's also an amazing app that you can use on your mobile. So let's get started with the plus. Click on the plus and then you're given this pop-up. Notice there is the bin. that You can get rid of it. You give a title. You can write something. That's text. You can also add something from your camera, check for things, add a link, and then the three dots. So let's go through each of these so you can see the amazing things that Padlet offers. If you hover your mouse over these, you don't have to try them out. It'll say Upload. So if you click on it, you'll go to a file picker where you can upload different things. Either you have some already in your Padlet, files that I've added, or you can go into your computer by clicking on the file picker. Going to stop that, close it up. Notice there's always the close at the top right. Let me go to the camera. Under the camera, notice the options here. You need to enable it. So use your camera. You need to allow it or you can block it. I don't recommend blocking unless you never want to use it again because it's going to be problematic. Make sure that your camera is set on Chrome and of course uh, in your computer system, whatever system, OS operating system you're using. Ooh, I've given permission. I also have this camera set on Chrome. So there I am. Hi there. With my glasses, without my glasses, it's up to you how you want to appear. I'm going to either notice the camera here. You can decide what camera you want to use. I'm using Logitech, but if you want to change that, they'll give you options. Notice I've got three options. If I click on it, let me do it again so you can see my options. Okay, let me open that up. Notice there's a USB virtual camera that's uh, in device my and Facebook since I... FaceTime, sorry, since I'm using um, an Apple device. All right, I'm going to close that because I'm not going to use my camera. By the way, you can also add the background. Okay, if you'd like that, let me show you how that's done. I just took a photo. Let me show you how that's done in case you missed it. So I will save it you can give it a name and so on so it's saving the photo but that's not what i wanted to do so uh, let's go back to the plus here notice the photo will now appear here i'm going to get rid of that because that was not my intention so that's where the bin comes in okay let's go back to the camera and see what the options are again notice uh, if you click on the camera because that's just your photo nothing's happened so let me click on the camera smile and take a photo. Okay, it took the photo of me with my head down. Okay, so you have to stay there until you can get gray scale, you can get sepia, up to you how you do it. Okay, um, let's go back now. And, um, and that's it, unless you point your camera elsewhere and then you'll get that. So we've done that. Let's go to the world and notice what appears here. If you miss that, I'm going to show you again. So you get that. It's over here. It's this uh, search engine. There we go. And uh, you can search for things here. So you can search for, and depending on what you want to search for, images, GIFs, YouTube video, Spotify, or anything from the web. Notice it says search images, GIFs, YouTube, Spotify, exactly what I said. <laughs> okay, in case you missed that. So images, I need to write the name. So I can write Nellie Deutsch. Let's see if there's a photo out there. 
that I could use. And then you go to the arrow over there. So let's do that now. Here it comes, whatever it is. Okay, whoa, the, where did that come from? Paul Herman is a photo of Nellie. That is really strange. And that's, well, Nellie Deutsch has a lot of different things out there. And some of them I don't, Marcus, um, you know, connected to, okay, so you can find whatever is out there and um and click on it and it'll come up okay there it is so it came up that's just to show you let's go back to the bit now you do this for each one which is not such a great thing i'd rather have it in one but you do it for each one so let's go back to the plus and see what else is available here uh gifs i wonder if no i'm sure there's no gif with nelly but let's look for a gif and this time we're going to call it uh, thumbs down or thumb down not thumbs down okay thumb down gif so let's uh look for it there's a thumb down gif not exactly what i was looking for i'm looking for a clip art okay so it gives you that and then there's youtube okay so that's thumb down on youtube but i can have uh nelly deutsch for youtube but you can have the name of the youtube or you can add the link which is great or you can add the link of the gif or the image that you want so let's go to the arrow and get some videos by me you're welcome to do that spotify i wonder if i have nelly deutsch on spotify well lots of stuff Deutsch, but not Nelly. All right. I wonder what would happen if I added blended. All right. So let's see if there's something on blended learning. Okay. So you can get some things on blended learning. All right. So let's clear all that. And the web, of course, um, you can add a website, but you need to have the link. So let's add Moodle for teachers. It's a lot of fun. Your students will love it. So keep them in mind. Now I notice if it's the web, it's just going to go straight there. That's one way of adding a website. It'll appear there in a second. Okay, it's taking a while. And there it is. Okay, that's kind of the front page or something. All right, don't like that. Let's see what else is available. Click on the plus. By now you should have been getting a lot of practice. We're going to go to the three dots. This is exciting. By the way, you can add links this way as well, which is a better way. We're going to click on the three dots and notice the options here. Upload, we already have that. Camera, we have that. Video recorder, great. Location, you need a map. You'll get a map and then you add your location. Screen recorder audio drawing padlet link we already have that image search we saw that gif youtube spotify and web search what i really like is the option of being able to record yourself this is great for students especially if they're using their phones young learners and adult learners and then camera and the video also the location if you've got an international group and you're teaching them screen recorder now that's relatively new which is absolutely fantastic so this is another way of recording the screen everybody's going for this which means that it's getting popular and competitive chrome extension is required so you need to get the extension let me do that so i installed the extension on my chrome let me refresh so we can get this going here go back here to the plus click on it and uh, let's go to the three dots and what we're doing here is we are screen recording now notice uh, you need to enable it to use your microphone again so let's allow you can record up to five minutes so we're limited but sometimes that's all you need. This is great if you want your students to also record their uh, screen. You can record the whole screen or an application. All right, so notice my microphone. This is the default. 
Okay, can open it up and decide on another one. Okay, so let's uh, get this going here with the arrows going right. Okay, so again, notice what you have here. Entire screen, a window, or Chrome. Remember, you're limited to five minutes. So a um, window would give you your desktop. Okay, I hope you realize that. You can get your desktop as long as you have everything open. Chrome tab, everything that's open on my Chrome entire screen. Of course, that's obvious. They're showing you what it will look like. It will not get your desktop shown, but that's an idea. I'm going to go to Chrome and uh, let's see what I can log into the site. Choose your course. Hmm. Let me see if I can get this presentation going. All right, so you can see the... Um, the area that's available. All right, so uh, I can present it within the screen. Presenter view so that I get the screen. All right, and notice uh, there's the stop. And I can start screen sharing and talk about my... There we go. Let's see if we can go to the next slide. There we go. That's the last one. Oh, I guess we are. We're at the very bottom. So let's go to the top. Notice what you have here. There are a few options, but this is on Google. All right. So let's go to there. You notice I'm using the arrow if you're interested at the bottom here. As soon as I get my mouse there. Okay. So that's the first one. I can go to the next one through these arrows. Or, of course, uh, I can use my arrows on my keyboard. Or I can use my mouse to go through each of the slides. So if you've got a clicker. So that's how we do it. Let's uh, stop this. We're going to go back here. And I think it's this one, the recording. So um, we've recorded something but I don't see it. So uh, the idea was to get it over here and I don't really see it. So let's go back to the Chrome and see if we can get this to show up because that's what we want, right? We, we want it to show up, but I guess that's not part of it. So it's just a sharing the screen. You can actually hopefully save it in some way. I see there's a little thingy here. Let's see what we can do with that. Nothing. Okay, so we're sharing it, obviously. We're going to stop and, um, and hope something happened. Let's go back here to our Padlet and see. Oh, there we go. Now it looks good. Now we can save it. I didn't follow the steps, so I missed out. I hope you don't. So I would call this... Um, screen sharing screen we've got screen sharing title we're going to save it there it's saving the video it's a video screen sharing is always a video unless you capture an image by the way i use snagit jing which is completely free you can use that i haven't talked about jing for a while it's free i believe it's got another name now from techsmith okay so it's taking a while um, which is a good thing. Okay, so there it is. Okay, it's here. And um, there's a title and everything's going well. Okay, so um, I can play that. There's the video and I can play it. Present it within the screen presenter view so that I get the screen. All right. And notice uh, there is the stop and I can start screen sharing. Okay. So uh, that's what it's like. Uh, there are a few options here. I can make it open in a new window. I can download it. I can zoom it and make it larger, which I think is a nice feature. Actually, I should have started, um, I should have had it ready, but, and I can make it even larger. Play around with it. Notice I have screen capture, if you, live capture, if you're interested in that. 
and how to do that. I have a video on that. So uh, make it bigger. Let's make it larger. The whole screen wise. Okay. Don't really want that. Let me stop it since we're both talking. And notice uh, again, the features are also here. Full view, new window, and so on. Open in a new window. There. Nice. So I'm back. The next question is, how do I get back from this? Okay, so um, notice the settings here. You can copy the video ID, and I think this is important because you might want to share it. You've screen shared, you shared your screen in a video, and now you want to copy the video ID or copy the playback ID or report it. I hope you don't. There's nothing wrong with it, hopefully. And, um, and that's it. So copy video link. Now it's on my mouse and I can do other things. All right. So let's, um, get out. We go, we just clicked anywhere and you're out. It's gone. And that's it. If you have any questions about Padlet, let me know in the comment box below and I'll do my best to answer. Padlet is amazing. And if you want a free Padlet, it's free for, I believe, three walls. But if you want more, let me know and I'll do my best to help. Thank you for watching and have a great day.